You won't get very far in AutoHotKey without loops. Most beginners learn looping in the first lesson, and almost every script needs them. But sometimes, a visionary comes to AutoHotKey not merely to start a loop. They want to become the loop commander, controlling their loop directly by holding a key press and stopping it as they let go. If you want to be the loop commander, well, keep watching this video. Let's get started. First, you'll need to pick the hotkey you want to press and hold. In this tutorial, I'll be using X. In the script, we'll start by creating a hotkey for X and then creating a while loop. The while loop works by taking the condition inside of the parentheses and checking it every single time it does another loop. If the condition ever becomes false, we're going to stop looping. What we want to do is check if the state of the key we've used is still pressed or not. And AutoHotKey has a function built in for this called getKeyState. The first parameter is the key we used, so x, and then the second parameter should be p for pressed. Now that we're inside the loop, we can go ahead and do whatever we want. So for example, I'm going to send 1, 2, 3, and then sleep a little bit, and then at the end we'll return. As a side note, we could use the loop command instead, but the while command gives us an easy way to check if the condition is true before continuing. So I've launched the script and I'm going to hold down the X key and you'll see that it keeps typing in one, two, three over and over again. And as soon as I let go, it stops the loop. Remember, everything inside this while loop can be whatever you want. It can be sends, clicks, uh, I don't know, calling functions, anything that you need to do while your key is held down. Oh yeah, and if you want to see this idea in a real script, this is my custom auto clicker. It does some crazy stuff like changing the cursor size when it's active. But if you look right here at the core of the script, you can see this get key state function that I showed you today. So while you're holding the left mouse button down, it checks to see if it's still down and then continues to click over and over again. And then when it's done, it stops clicking. So that's it. If you like this video and you want to see more automation scripts and tutorials, check out my other videos. See ya.